Good day, everyone. Welcome to another edition of Primax Interview with Dr. Yes. So today we brought some of our medical students from the University of Bari to talk to you guys about the UI procedure, how to prepare for it, and the things you need to do and things you are supposed not to do. So we're introducing ourselves one by one, beginning from the person at my right. All right. Good day. My name is Omoni Michael, also known as the Creative Doctor. I'm a medical student of the University of Ibadan. Hey everyone, my name is Akilo Mukhe, and I'm the academic student as well, undergraduate from the University of Ibadan. Hey everyone, my name is Elevin Ibrahim. I'm a medical student of UI, also known as Current Electricity, also I'm based. So the first question that we have there is, what is the structure of the UI procedure? So, All right. Um, starting from my end. Well, um, UI posterior structure is quite different from the posterior of other schools. They say that they use um, a system of um, Roman numerals to ask their question. For example, other schools might ask questions. For example, let me say, what is it now? So, in UI, in UI posterior, you just ask you what is it now? And the options will be like that. No. You have a Roman numeral, like the first one, Roman figure I, and now is this Roman figure. Um, I, I, in our computer, so you have to know what you are doing. You have to be smart to be able to answer your I question. question. And the structure, it is in the form of um, it is a form of computer grids. It's not um written as some other schools. Well, most most schools actually now use um computer grids. Test. So you are to say you also use computer grids. So that's what I see from my end. That's the structure of your Okay. Um. Also, to add to what you have said. Yes, you have to tell me the Roman numeral. Now, uh, one thing I would like to point out is that the Roman numerals are actually not things that um, are out of the world. Let me put it that way. Some questions that you might have seen before as options, like A, B, C, D, are the ones they transform into Roman numeral. Yes, because there are some questions you see that the the only answer there is maybe um, option, Roman numeral I alone. So maybe you might have seen that same question before and it is written as A, B, C, D. But in UI position, you might need it as I, 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 I. Then in the options, you might have A, I, and I, 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 and I, I, I. But at times, the answer may just be one of them. So you just have to be careful. Know that, know the things you have read before. So it's not totally out of the world. So it's not something you should be scared about. Well, for what I just noticed about we have the same questions that is Roman figure normally, but you are testing your understanding based on how you understand your whole level. I get and I know that there are some of us that our whole level is not that good. Maybe we did attend a good secondary schools. I get it, but you need to just balance up. So if you know you cannot balance up, look for some way to tell that you can actually you can balance up. You have just test your understanding. I get it. You have not set any level question. All the questions is purely whole level, but just for your understanding. That's what I mean. And also, sorry, I need to add, like you said, UI is majorly O level. So, what I'm going for is that when you say that one study more of what you've done before, where you are where you are going for jam. Now it's funny how some people want to prepare for UI post TLD and you take A level textbook. It's very, very funny. It's, it's it doesn't make sense. Though you actually get some information that would probably come out in the exam, but it is very, very wise of you to study more of your whole level questions or your whole level, um, your whole level stuff. You understand? So I think that's that's one secret about you. I could see again. The first thing you need to know is hundred questions, twenty five for each subject. Same thing that I give them. It is CBT. It is multi choice, or should I call it multi multi choice? Because you have two options: the Roman numeral part and then the main option that have A, B, C, and D. And the very important part, do your whole level and don't advance to pass your whole level. So I think that was a, that you already have an insight of what to expect from the UI procedure. Understanding is key. So the next question that we have here is, how exactly do we answer UI procedure questions? We know that it is multi-choice, we know that it is Roman numeral. How do you go about that? All right, um, about answering UI procedure question, the secret lies in understanding your whole level, like we said before. Now, for each question, you have to know what the answer is even before you, before you see your answer. 
or before you check the offer. For example, like I said, that what is it now? You have to that now is the name of any person and all of this before you even check the option. So knowing what your ad size would help you um would, would, would help you go through the options very well and carefully. You understand? Like and another thing is after um, apart from knowing what a noun is, you also have to know other things that surrounds a noun. Because for you are you are very, very smart that like you said earlier, you want to test our knowledge. And you want to know how well we know what we are doing. For example, you know that yes, a noun is a name of a person. Now, is a noun only used for a person or also for animals and things? For example, you can see Roman figure I, a noun is a name of a person. If you don't check the remaining options, you might not see that there is also an option that states that a noun is a name for animals. And that will be part of the option. And you can see a third option that will give you a noun is a name of a person animal place or things so those options are very very similar but you have to understand what you are doing to be able to choose your um the correct option so the secret just lies in know know your stuff very well that's one thing for me just know your stuff very well okay um actually adding to what he has said he has said it's all actually but let me put it this way when you want to answer your representative you need to become in a sense that it is something you know, but they just want to twist it. Yes, it's something you know already, but they just want to twist it. So now one other thing is that in, in a situation where you know you are not you are not getting the right answer, yes, you know it at times that you've not gotten the right answer, just make sure you check the Roman figures. Which of them are you very sure? So I'm bringing the insight of um you trying to pick out elimination, elimination. So I that we actually help in a case where you actually don't know the right answer, but you still want to get the answer, of course, you want to get the right answer, 100 is the goal. So you can just check for, okay, I know that I is definitely correct. Maybe which of the following is correct. So I know definitely I is correct. Then you go to your option, option A. Maybe option A says that um, I and I, I. Okay, then option B says I, I and I, I, I. Then option C, it says I, V and V. Then option G says, um, I, I, and I, I, I. Now, in that case, you already know you are very sure of I. And every other, the all, all the options don't have I. It's only one that has I. That's option A. So you can just literally go for that. So that's one of the tactics that you can use in answering your question. But let me add this. Don't, don't try and eliminate your answer, please. <laughs> because you can eliminate your answer at times. So but you make sure that it is something you are very sure about. So it's just based on testing your knowledge. So and that's also a way to answer the question. Right. Okay, for my end, they have actually said, yeah, in fact, what I need to see, I've said, but I'll let me just chip in this. The thing is that whenever you find yourself in the form of those small figures, I guess there are there are cases that we see two answers. So the thing is that you just have to go for the most correct because the two answer might likely be correct. I get it. But there is still one particular answer that is actually very, very good, like 100%. Because there are, there are some cases that whereby if you check the two answers, you see that one is that in this condition, it is like this. In other condition, it's not like that. But the other one, in both conditions, like in every condition, it's always, it's always what that answer. So in another kind of question, that means it really needs to like, how do I put it? You need to like know that, okay, this particular answer is always correct. So whenever you are doing your postpone, you should just take note of those things. Yeah, that's what I say. So now that we don't, we are done with our own. The next thing we have on our list, very, very important. Um, I believe the person watching this, this video should meet you a month to you appreciate it. And if you've not been reading so hard, or let's say you've been playing around, then you need to get serious now. So you need to know one month to appreciate it. What are the things you need to do? Even if you are lagging behind, how do you catch up? And these are the next. This is the next question we are going to answer. But what do you think? All right. Um, one month to the CME exam. The thing is, you have to apply wisdom. I need to be smart for what you are doing. Now, a month to the CME exam is not um the time for you to start carrying your textbooks. Yeah, you can actually take your textbook just for reference. I say that just for reference. You have to start carrying this book to start reading all through again. Now, what is important that you start doing a month of your exam is solve enough questions, solve lots of questions. 
Now, I'm, I'm just going to chip in while I was preparing for my what I do every day is I make sure I try to solve at least 100 questions. At times, I can solve even more than that, but at least, even if I'm very, very busy, at least I should solve 100 questions. And I'd like that is this um, popular app that we all know when preparing for jam. That's my school. I use my school because that's um, a kind of structure that helps you time yourself and also helps you arrange the question just like do I put any structure. I know your yeah, semi structure is um, one hour thirty minutes and it's hundred questions, so twenty five for each, for for um, each subject. You are going to be taking four subjects. That's your four um, subjects combination in your UTM. So that was the same thing I did while preparing for my for the post TM um, post TM. So I just selected um, my four subjects, set the timer one hour thirty minutes, mm -hmm. and start working. So I can do that to check how far I'm prepared or how how how, how well I was prepared. So doing that, it's, it's, um, it gives you an edge or it gives you a check to know your level of preparation. So if you don't know how prepared you are before the exam, then it's, it's just saying you're not ready. So as I said, a month to the exam is not the time for you to start going through your textbook as if you just want to start reading. So you can go through it for reference. But the most important thing is what? Solve as much questions as possible. Okay, so that's what you are saying. You need to solve questions, but you need to solve the right questions. <laughs> so, and in that um, sense, you need a, a very good tutorial. Yes. Let me chip that in. A very good tutorial will help you in covering a lot, even in a very short time. Because when you go for marathon classes and you pick the topic right from the beginning and they just go through it, just dropping the key points, just spending down the key points, the key points. From those key points, you will definitely cover virtually everything you need to cover so and from there then you be able to get access to the right questions and so i would recommend primax university because they'll be having the, the marathon class we have a marathon class in this will coming up very soon so before the exam and also there will be more questions so those questions are, are based on the structure of ui and it will be timed as well so it's here it it's to keep you in check for the time and it's also keep you in check for how so one month to the exam, you don't need to be scared, but you need to get the right material, get the right tutorial. Actually, say, okay, for my own end, one month to the exam, hmm. the thing is that, that you must have been reading, I get it. But you know that that one month to the exam, you, know, you will fear everything, the tension that, ah, the exam is in this corner, the exam is this, you not be afraid. The thing is just that, you just have to like, look at yourself, that how far am I able to write this exam? Then if you know that you have actually like, maybe all whatever you read, you still remember then keep on solving past quiz but if you know that ah i can't do this thing no most of the things i read i forget to then you need like a, a place where you can just like those things they can revise it for you because you're taking your book and you say that you want to start reading you are just playing you can't do that to you right because you just asking you want to crash read and you cannot crash it for you right because you are going to test the words you understand it so you need you actually need what a place where by all those things that maybe you have been reading or no you know you have read it so it's not it to you so you need a place that they will just do like like a revision to you in form of words, marathon. So no, even though there are some particular parts, maybe maybe you not know, really get the understanding very well. You may actually get it from that place. I get it. So I I would actually recommend primers to you guys. I get just like my boss I was just saying. I recommend primers because the that's also the same tutorial I also went for and it, believe me in fact it's very 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 good. You get I get and really help you because you cannot read everything. It's everything that you can read. You get so because there are some things that you might not get on your own. I guess, in, but when you're in primers, you actually like everything. You know, they will bring everything back to you. Now, not in form of they are like teaching you the way they are teaching you secondary school. They will teach you in a way that you understand because you probably those things you might have seen it before, or maybe there are some part that you are reading and you are not getting on your own. You read, they will make it to, to understand it. I get it, and you do past question with a lot. And there's the things that. There are a lot of tests that you guys will be doing, and that test it will expose to what you are past question because one thing about your exam about uh, you can read it. you can still know how to read and you still bang your exam. That's how it is. The thing is you have to do, just like follow people that actually like they have experience, they have got people, and and in fact, then you see people that have results we get so that they can actually what put it through. Because you see, you are to have hundred is very, very easy. I know it's it's like it's like let me just it's slim. I've not seen anybody that actually have on the but I've seen people that have 95. To me, that means that have 95 is 100 because it's your exam. You get, you can actually have it. You get, you can have it if we are in what in the right place and using what the right materials. 
and you yourself, your mindset. Don't be having, ah, no, I can't do it. It's your mindset. Start from what? Your mindset. I get it. So that's it. What I said in my way. Also, I need to add, you have to have um, an accountability partner. Or would I say um, someone that is accountable and responsible for your preparedness? Now, while preparing, I was I had to go back home and I was preparing on my own. But that was not really effective because after, like I said, my hundred um hundred questions a day, after solving hundred questions a day, I feel okay, yes, I've achieved my goal for the day, then I need to rest. But that's very, very wrong. Now coming to primary school to challenge you. I will challenge your efforts that no, you're not going to start it. Now, when, when you go to primates after solving 100 days, you know that's why people are just sorry, 100 questions. That's why people are just starting. They are just that, that's just their their appetizer for the day. So 100 days is just that like, okay, let's 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 just sort of brush our teeth. You understand? So you should be in an environment that is going to challenge you. That you, you are going to meet with some friends and colleagues that will be accountable for you. That okay, I feel ready today. What are we doing today? What is this? What is this? What is this? I hope you understand. And also, while preparing, there are there are uh, some things that you you would um you would have not known or you would have, you wouldn't have heard before. I remember when while I was still preparing at home, I had um knowledge of my O level. When I when when I came back to primary again for the exam, so then I realized that there are different types of trees. You you can remember that question that you did when we're talking about trees. We're talking about palmates, um, peripines, and all that. I've never heard of that in my life before. And those those questions came out in the exam. Yeah. So it was as primax I heard that. Uh, it was um, we, we classify trees based on their kind of leaf, based on their kind of branches, and all that. I never heard of that before. So being a place that will challenge you will also help you to get to get better. So that's why we are all recommending primax to you. I should find your way here in Ibadan and come and get prepared and ace your post exam. Okay. So, do I need to summarize everything at your stage? Um, first of all, time is against you, or you need to have much time. Set. So, find ways to cover up a lot of things in a very short period of time, which is where the tutorial part comes in. I know I want to be reading this. One thing I want to say is in your one month to the positive preparation, you will have to leave no stone uncovered. So you have to touch every aspect. Even if you don't have an in-depth understanding of it, you need to have surface level understanding of it. Because the questions can just come from a particular topic. It's not it's not um it's not spread out. You can enter and then this batch will meet a particular questions from a particular topic. And you cannot afford to enter your exam and then the questions they are seeing is from the topic that you've not really read. So to be on the safe side, while you've done all the things that they, they've said, endeavor to touch every aspect of each subject that you do. And make sure even though you don't have in-depth understanding, you have surface level understanding of them to avoid stories that touch. So the next question that we have, the next, the next solution we are bringing to you is, what are the challenges that you faced when you were preparing your positive exam? Yeah. And in addition to that, how did going to tutorial or how did Primax help your challenges? All right, um, starting from my end, a challenge I had going for the exam was, um, I did have basic so some basic knowledge about some things one and time while i was preparing for my exam alone i i didn't i didn't i don't know how to put it like i didn't use my time effectively while i was alone i remember there were times when after solving past questions or even while solving past question at home there was always light i was solving past question and i'll be concentrating on the tv so I wasn't using my time effectively. This was actually a challenge, I would say. Though so it might not be a challenge to other people, but I see it as a challenge um, to me not getting prepared very well, or a challenge to my effective preparation. So leaving my comfort zone, coming to Primax, it helps it helps to um bring my um focus all together and I could was prepare effectively. So I would say that that was my challenge and my my the solution to my challenge. 
a for me a challenge that I faced was that um you know when you have art break in a school and you're not trying to sit down for another school. <laughs> so yes, so when you have an art break from the school, he says that maybe you wrote a particular post to tell me and you were not able to get your admission and then you are going for another position. So the discouragement in your art that can I make it? Yes, so there was this kind of not really fair, but we're just trying to wonder that is it still possible this year? Is it no now? The very, that was when primers came in. It says that we are, we were always encouraged. Yes, we are to go again at every point. So that encouragement, it was it was at least a light that I can still do this. I can still make it. So when you see all that stood around you and you are preparing for the same thing, so you just have the mind that okay, if this person is still preparing, then I have no choice. I have no choice. Let me just sit with it and prepare. And you have people to rub my with because you have people that are going for the same courses with you in the art class sciences commercial you have people around you so you can always go to people when you have a challenge you can easily meet up with one person or the other that will explain to you so that way it will help you kind of feel that okay i have other people i'm not the only one in this so we are also there are also other people that i can share my bodies with so that's where the primary capacity came in right okay to my end. Okay. The thing is the challenge that me I face that in a place I come from, how would I say it? I I do not see any computer. Although I have but there are few. And most of the computers they are just like they are my friends. You know, in my locality, they don't actually like how would I say if you have like something like 230 and 250, you are a boss. You know now, in a place where you have going through that you now you see yourself that ah, well, I, I, you, you, I have no everything. I get it. So in my area, there's not actually no computer. I get it. So, but when I actually come to primers, I was not seeing people reading. You know now, where I come from, I'm the champion. I don't know. I go, ah, why do you see reading like this? What is happening here? Before I was not thinking that maybe I'm, I'm good. When we get to the test, I want to, I want to do like, let me just partake in the test. And I see my son, I don't know, I don't know anything here. You know, I don't start reading. Then that's when I start like, I, I was not start going like extra mile. And I found out that okay, my problem is that I actually come from there's actually no computer for me, but I can actually do better. I realized that I actually wrote my jam in, in primers, I should have notes like 370. If I have 370, they should be knocking me that, oh, teach, you're like, you have not done well, you know. Because you know, in primers, they will actually like motivate you, they will put you to an extreme that you yourself know that, ah, even though you're having this kind of score, you see, I'm not better. You get, and that score that you have is like a people. So the thing is just that. If you look at yourself, you see that where you are, you are not seeing like this condition, like this thing. You know, condition do helps. You know, you see that uh, you don't want to put yourself under attention. No, it's not about attention. The thing is just that something that will actually push you. Because if you are in your area, you are the only one that you are reading. You know, you'll be seeing yourself as if maybe you have covered a lot, but you like, you actually need to like to compete yourself because you actually want to go and compete with what a lot of people that actually will score high. And you know, you yourself, you might not maybe, maybe. You might score high, you might not score high. Even though you score high, you still have computer because the person that have 280 will want to displace you. And even though you score low, you can actually displace person that score high. So you actually need an environment that will actually like what? That will push you. That's when primers come in. Because there's why you be in primers that you want to read. Operation wants to kill you. Where do you want to put yourself? <laughs> you know, you are in the area and you feel like that. Uh, uh, and maybe two hours within you are playing. Because in the comment, you want to like read like 10 hours. And that thing I was normal. You know, you know, you know, people that say, is it empty? There's all called empty and TDB. Empty means money tonight, TDB, today break. If you get a receipt, who's doing empty and TDB and they're not getting tired? No, ah, you have to get the energy from. You yourself want to, and by those two, you are training yourself. I get it. So there's no how you live for that longer time, them that you knock over. And parents will make to cover everything. So you then need to do better. You get. So if you know that you are, you are in this category, please. Just find your way to primers. Believe it's not by hyping. You are even you get here, you note that yes, all this that most of these guys are saying is true. And believe me, you you definitely get you at. I guess because this time around, you see, a lot of score have actually released their position. So you taking you are just like you are putting your score at risk. Let me not say your life. You are putting your what your score at. Risk. So you actually need like everything because if you not get this year, you say that next year is coming. Like, ah, next year is me tougher because I will when we are writing our own. We are saying that it's tougher, but some people are saying say that it, it is more or easier than what it's going to be this year. Because actually, myself, a lot of people actually did well. And one thing about you, if they see that a particular set did well, it's the next set that will survive. They will actually make it tougher. 
for the next set. So you can see, so we have not right for saying we are saying that your exam will be tougher, but it seems that, that there's nothing that is tougher. Are you getting it? If you actually like in the right place, you actually be what the best version of yourself, and you see that you actually do what you span the exam. What I mean, it means that you actually do very, very well in the exam. You get so what you need is just a right place and something that a force that will actually will drive you. You get because some of us say we are so lazy that if you don't see somebody like doing something, you don't want to do it, especially me. I'm very, very lazy because now nah, it's not my fault because the place that I go for the, the small score that I have, people think I have something like two, two, two hundred plus, they were not calling me boss. Then that boss, I need to be like these people. And there's no way you say that you want to be like somebody, somebody that is eating 40, 14 hours and you want to be like them. So it means that I have to work to double my time. So you get, so you need, just need a good place and some one or two things I get in it. So that's what I say for my own idea. So you've heard, you've heard all the things. I believe that by now you are 100% equipped. Like you have all the hormones, everything that you need for positive me. So let me put this to you. Um, or like many people believe, you have positive me is not actually difficult. If you do all the things that you're supposed to do, get used to your own level, understand it, practice questions, ask questions from people that have done the exam, get an insight of what the exam looks like and how to go about the exam, which you have done for that for you. Find tutorial. You know that people will be like, I can do it on my own. I know that you are smart and you are, you are the senior prefect your secondary school. I get it. So there are also other senior prefects too from other schools that are coming. That you don't and know. the senior prefects from other schools the exam score is probably higher than your own. So you find places that will help you, like not just help you in story, you see people that, that will, will push you. It's very important because if at the end of the day the two of you should succeed, when you get to school, you are not lost in the midst of you know, strangers that you don't know. You know that you have someone from primaries that, okay, we have been doing this thing together, we are in this journey together, and the two still continue it. They set you apart from others. So I wish you well in your exam. If you are coming to you, I, if you see any one of us, you see a Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike, or you can you can find him, he's creative doctor, you know him by that. You can find Ola, you can find Ibrahim, for it. You see me, any one of us you see in the UI, just feel free to reach out to us. I, I saw your video on YouTube on Primus University, and we can help you with anything that you need. So thank you, and God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you. All right. Um. Then, in case, in case you've not started studying, or you feel, okay, I don't know how to start, I don't know what to read, I don't know what to start doing. Now, I just want to inform you that Primark will be starting a, a marathon class very soon, and we'll be covering all the topics that need to be covered. So, I hope you prefer, prepare for the, for the um, post TME. So, if you feel, okay, I don't know this, I don't know this, I don't know this, it's just an avenue for you to know it now. So you can't afford to miss this opportunity. You can't afford to miss this chance. So it is not this is not the time for you to be relaxed in your house. It is not the time for you to sleep eight hours as the doctors would advise. It is not the time for you to eat all the whole food in the house. This is time for you to leave your comfort zone and find your way down to Primark. Now, if you feel okay, how would I get um, the comfort? Like when I mean comfort, like things that are necessary for um, life, things that are necessary to help you survive. Now, Primax is his home. Yeah, his it's home. Old. You have everything you need. Is it kitchen, bathroom, everything is well covered. Everything is con conducive. It's a conducive place. Like when you come here, you will feel okay. I don't need to go home again. Yeah, I'm not exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. Yeah. And the thing is, you, you, get, you get to connect with friends. You get to connect with people that now that, that your, your friendship can last a lifetime your relation can last a lifetime so you have to leave your comfort zone. So you have to leave that place you are staying you have to confine that home so just find your way down to primary find and now, your way down here for uh for the materials so you might be thinking okay what do i need to read what do i need to study to help me um prepare very well now i'm just going to mention some materials i used while i was preparing for my position now for the biology I actually used the textbook I had. I, I used my own textbook and they helped me. Now, my for my biology, I used um, essential biology. Though people say essential biology is just like a summary textbook, but that was what I had. So I combined essential biology with um, 
this um green biology test is explicit. I got that here in Primark from some friends, from a friend, and also modern biology test. So I use the three. It's not as if, like I said the other time, your textbook is just for reference. The main thing is past question. So I just went to the textbook for reference. So for my chemistry, I used essential chemistry because that was also what I had. So getting to primax here, I also used lamb lab chemistry because lamb lab has um, enough information. It has lots of information about the um, exam. For my physics, I used new school physics. Because that was what I had, and new school physics is very, very also it's also very good. And also, um, in primary you have access to different textbooks. For physics, you can get access to um, today's physics and um, lambda physics also. And also, those very good. And also, we have we have um, primax primax chemistry, and we have primax physics. Now, that primax chemistry and primax physics is very, very well explanatory. Now, it's broken down every step, um, especially calculation. If you have issues with calculation. All the steps you need for your calculations, they are broken down. And primary chemistry is a, is a, a chemistry textbook, is a textbook that is very relatable. Now, other chemistry um, textbook in other chemistry textbook just writes like notes. But primary chemistry textbook, why reading it? It's just as if the teacher is explaining to you. Like imagine in a textbook, like after reading a part, you see a part that says, Do you understand? Like do you, you you get that kind of thing. Yes. Like you're reading, okay. Chemistry is the study of this, of this, of this, of this. And you see a point, do you understand? It's just like you are relating with this child. So it's, it's, a, um, it's, it's very relatable. So I'll say that. So, and with that also, solve your past question. Like I said, when I was studying at, studying at home, I was also always studying jump past question. But coming here to Primark, I get I got access to the past questions um, from previous exams. So about um, past questions from like 10 years ago. I think 10 years ago I got them. So recent ones, I got them. So you can get all that. All all um all those textbooks here in Primax. So you just have to find your way down get to Primax. So we all recommend Primax to you. I personally recommend Primax to you because I wrote my jam here, I wrote my first year, and I didn't regret it. So you just have to find your way down to Primax. Yeah. Okay. The thing is, just like the when my boss have always said, the thing is. You see, concerning materials, I get in. If you, you have to mention materials like this, there's a lot of materials that you're using. I get in. But the thing is, you just have to know a particular material that you can actually use. I get in. And how do you know a particular material that you can use and that to be effective and understanding to you? I get in. You can actually get that in primers. You can get that in primers. You get. Because if I say material, I should start listing. I can list all the materials for you using it and not find to your advantage i get like we say at ah, least the, the grammar that they are making in this book is too much i get it but when you get to the grammar even though the grammar is too much they will make you like you understand the whole concept of the textbook i get it so that is why you see that everybody is just recommending come back come to primers come to primers okay. so it's not as if you are hyping it's what you get you get okay. so if you truly know that you don't want to like you don't want to waste this day admission you get you just have to do the right thing you get even though you feel that you have read everything ah Hmm, you are playing, you know, because the other one say you are playing is that if you want to know, just take you are like you are previous questions that they have done, take it and attempt it. You yourself, you know that you are shaking. Because the other one says that you know, I think that I actually come from a place system, but since I still have some scholars, I get and those scholars, whenever they take your questions to, to do it, they find that uh, there are something that it is tricky. I get it. But if you are in a place like Primark, nothing will be hard for you because all the materials and everything, you see, you know, the. Oh, this is not about okay. It's not about reading, reading. There are some things that, like, out that it's a compass. Like, maybe in terms of uh, motivation, in terms of motion, in terms of religious, in terms of praying. So many things. I get it. It might be reading, maybe you are not getting it. You see that okay, okay, we are doing like this. I get it. And it's not everything that you can actually get to hold. If you didn't get it, there are people that they will tell you. I get it. And if you are lagging behind, maybe in terms of emotion maybe they are feeling like ah this thing i cannot do you see that they will motivate you they always their own lifestyle they will tell you that, okay okay you can do this you see when you get to primers i get it everything that you are looking for you actually look, you get it you get it's not about ip when you come you see it you get it. so god on our side and primax we also put all their energy to help you so you will get whatever you need so we are expecting you in the university of ibado first and first so many students, we are expecting you as our two kids to eat. We cannot yes, wait. So we need you guys. 